Hi, welcome back. I got all the red done that you see on this Santa. We painted all the red. Now I did one of the um, boots already just to save a little bit of time. Now let's do the other. Um, if I can see it, it's a little tough with the camera right in front of me. But that's all you do is take it and and uh, paint it over. So that, that's your boots. Okay? And then I'll clean that one off. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this little, um, um, this part here, this little uh, row portion. And all that is is burnt sienna. You don't need a lot for that. Um, I'm going to use this other brush here. Bear with me just a second. I haven't figured out how to quite do this on online yet. But um, you want to just wipe it off a little bit and then just kind of rub it in. And that's how you do your belt all the way around. That's one little spot i got to fix. I'll just cut, sliver a little piece off. You can do that and then just repaint it white. Um, that's the advantage with the wood. Sometimes you can just cut it off and um, make it work. Okay. Yeah, I see I got a little bit of red because I'm trying to rush through this. And like I've been telling you all along, don't rush through it. If you, if you have the time, just take your time with it. Um, I'm going to be putting this on eBay after it's done probably this weekend. Um, and I will sign it as a YouTube video um, number one for 2009. So if you're interested in it, you're welcome to take a look at it there. I'll have better pictures of it probably posted. Um, but um, I usually do about 50 a year anyway for for um, to sell. Um, well, last year wasn't as much. It was about 35 maybe. But this is how you do the tassel. Just get in there and um, you know if you go over a little bit, it doesn't hurt any because it has red in it. Okay, so that's how you do your belt. Just go around and kind of push. Make sure you get everything in there like you're supposed to. The eyes are really tough to do. Um, I'm going to try to show you how to do that. I have a little bit of blue on a ceram on a little um, styrofoam plate. And what I want to do is take a little bit of water, a little bit of my white, and just take a tad of that and just uh, tone down that blue a little bit. Move the camera over a little bit like that. And what you want to do is just load it up. And on the eyes, you're going to make a dab in the center. Just like that. Just kind of a half an oval shape. You don't want to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, that's one. Load up the brush again. Do the other side. Whoops, get a little more, a little more of the blue in there, yeah. Well, load your brush up, and you start in the middle and you work your way out, okay, to where you want to go. And then after we get this in, um, we want to put um, a dab of black in the center for the pupil. That's all that's part of the eye, that's it. The eyes are never going to be exactly the same, so don't worry about that. But try to get them even. You know, the eyes are cut differently sometimes. That's how it's done. And like I said, if you, you know, if you make a mistake, you can always make the eye white again and start over. I've done that more than once. So, you know, we carvers that have been in it for a long time, we've all made mistakes and all had to figure out a way of repairing it. So don't worry about it. If it doesn't look right, you can go back and tone it up with straight white around the pupil of the eye. Um, there's always a way to fix it. A very few carvings have I not done correctly one time in my rush, and I will explain it to you. I actually was in a rush to get one of these done, and I had the feet facing this way, the opposite way. His feet were on this side, and it was a goof. I didn't realize that until I was almost done carving it. I thought, oh my goodness, look at what I did. 
Now, would you believe it's sold on eBay anyway? Somebody, it was a unique piece. I've never made a mistake like that. So whoever has it out there in uh, the world today has a one one of a kind piece for sure. Uh, but anyhow, this is how you do the eyes. And now we're going to do a little bit in the mouth here, and I'll show you how to do that. You take a little bit of white, put it on your plate, and a little dab of the black wash. See how I have it? See how I have it? A gray color. That's what you want. What I do is I shove it down into the mouth and I just kind of swirl it around there until it gives it some depth. And then the lips will do a pink color. And um, I'll show you that real quick. If I can hurry up and do this before I run out of space on the tape here. Um, That's all. Let's do it. And then two dabs of black for the uh, pupils. And we have our Santa is completed. Let me see if I can get that in there really quickly here. And you have to wait till that blue dries. Okay? If that blue isn't dry, you're going to smear it all over the place. So load it up. And then one little dab in the center. One little dab in the center on the other side. Okay, that's how we get our eyes, and our Santa is completed, folks. Hope you enjoyed the series, and we'll start on another Santa, oh, probably next week or early part of the next week, or even maybe this weekend. We'll see how, how things go. Thanks for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Bye-bye.